Hello, so today I wanna to talk about the best way to build self-trust. And your self-trust is a core component of your confidence. And when we look at confidence, really is belief and trust in yourself. And while there are a number of factors that can help you to build your confidence and to help you build your self-trust, there is one uh, component that you know is probably the biggest factor for really diminishing your trust in yourself and therefore is then the best thing to really look at to help to build your trust because if it is changed it changes it let's just put it's a game changer in terms of your self-trust and that is your self-talk your self-talk is a huge part of how much you trust yourself and therefore how much confidence you have and when i look at athletes right i think the biggest thing that when i go through this process with them of really indicating you know the areas that maybe are kind of hurting their 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 trust and confidence in themselves it is the manner in which they talk to themselves after a slip after a mistake maybe even before heading into a competition right but especially after a slip or a mistake really kind of talking to themselves in a manner that they probably would never talk to another human being really beating themselves up really um, using language that just as i said you would never use probably with another human being and that is a huge factor in them not really being confident um, and that's that's huge so self-talk would then be the one big thing that can help us to really you know build that that trust in ourselves and therefore build the confidence that have the confidence that we need to really go out there and execute in the manner in which you are capable of doing so and I'm, I'm definitely more of the proponent where it's not so much about going from negative self-talk all the way to positive self-talk. I think there's more of a, a medium ground here in terms of neutral self-talk. And I think it's better to look at just trying to be less negative uh, first and foremost to kind of inch your way towards more of that neutral self-talk. So rather than just completely you know, beating yourself up and flagellating yourself, really trying to move into, as I said, more neutral. You don't have to be super positive, this cheerleader and, and you know, make it all sunshine and, sunshine and roses or, or stuff like that. But you need to remove the negativity because every time that you talk to yourself with that negative voice um, and really lean into it and just let it kind of go for a while, you are hurting yourself your performance your future performance because you're just not going to feel very confident you're not going to be able to be in the present moment um, you could have been exceptionally well prepa prepared for a competition but if you step into that competition and your self-talk is not good it almost doesn't matter that you were exceptionally well prepared all of it just kind of gets flushes down away and you're not going to be very good in that moment right so i definitely say this is for most clients that i work with the one of the biggest things we start with is really helping to you know condition and change recondition i should say and change their self-talk um, and that's definitely not an easy thing to do right if you've conditioned yourself to to think and to talk to yourself in a certain way especially in certain moments right it takes a lot of awareness which is another skill set and a lot of ability to to start to change what you were doing and you know one of the things i like um, when i look at this and I've, I've told some of my clients about this is first that awareness is, is huge how are you talking to yourself are you aware of how you're talking to yourself and that definitely is probably the first place to start if you're not fully aware of how you're talking to yourself which is a, a different video and a different skill set but once you're aware right you don't necessarily have to you know take a thought that you have and, and go with it and engage with it, right? If you think about when your phone rings, um, and even if you look at your phone and who is calling, you know, you make a choice in that moment either to pick up that phone or not to pick up that phone. And sometimes you make the choice not to pick up that phone, even though it's ringing. You noticed it, you saw it, um, you heard it, and you make a choice not to pick it up. And your thoughts are the same way. You can see it, you can hear it, right? but you get to make the choice if you engage with it or not. If you just can look at it and say, wow, there's some really negative self-talk over there and then just refocus and, and focus on something else, right? Just as you would as if your phone was ringing and you decide not to pick it up and you come re-engage in whatever it is that you're doing in that moment that made you decide not to pick up your phone, right? It sounds easy when I explain it that way, but I do know it's hard. It is a practice, it is a skill set, right? So you have to practice it and you have, every day every moment you have time to practice this so this is definitely something that you don't just have to practice or or have to be in a game situation or a practice situation or right after a mistake um, to practice this skill set every day every moment 
Um, you make these types of choices. How are you talking to yourself on a daily basis? And do you engage with those thoughts? Do you go with them, create a story around them, elaborate on them, or you just observe them, notice them, and then re-engage with what you need to be engaged in in that moment. So there you have it, your self-talk, one of the most important things to help you build your self-trust and therefore help you with your confidence.